Let's take a look at a connector that is fascinating at first because it's a very interesting modular pluggable connector. And then as you look closer at it, it becomes a bit horrifying the things that could go wrong with this. So this story started with me going on eBay looking for some genuine Wago or Vago connectors, Wagner Albrecht. And uh, one of the listings was using a Vago number. 222 to basically promote these connectors and it was 10 new type electrical connectors UK stock so they were going to be delivered fast pluggable and it was 10 sets of these connectors for £10 I thought okay let's take a look at these connectors that's unusually cheap and it is cheap for a reason and the first thing I noticed when they arrived is that if you're used to the real thing let me zoom down a bit in this if you're used to the real thing I'll zoom it a wee bit further then you'll know that these things are always quite hard to open. There's a lot of pressure involved in opening because of their construction. They can also snap shut quite hard and pinch your fingers. These ones, on the other hand, uh, you can just basically just flip them open. And one of the reviews when I found these on AliExpress was saying, you know, literally you can just blow them open with air. The good thing about this is... They are very easy to open and close, but as you put a thicker wire in, it grips them tighter and that mechanism latches tighter. Um, I'm not sure which way to go here. I'll show you that these are very modular, um, but I'll show you the inside of them. That's the best bet here. So here is a picture, I will zoom out a little bit, that shows you what these connectors are like. I shall focus down onto that and we can explore them. So here is the cam that operates this spring mechanism. And it's quite nice because when you actually open it up, it actually lifts that little spring up. And that's quite good because if, say, for instance, you've got a wire in it and it is gripped down onto that wire, then it bites in quite tightly. And there's that an example of how that tightens up when it, it's increasing the, the friction of the spring. But when you lift, loosen it off, if you just loosened it off on its own, it would still be gripping that wire a bit. But because it comes back and it lifts it physically up, it releases the wire. That's quite a nice feature. Um, there is... A metal plate at the bottom that's the metal plates down here and if you see the little tiny ramp as you push these in there's a little stud there when you push it in from the outside it clicks in holds in place but there's also this little lip here that will uh, grip it in place i mean it's, it's quite well designed in this regard the spring steel mechanism for some odd reason it well it's part of the lifting mechanism but there's a little pip on the end of the operating lever here and when you swing it in that's the pip i suppose that lifts it up but also as you swing it back and lock it it just clicks through it actually physically clicks through the hole here at the end of that metal clip other things worth mentioning you can uh, probe into these there's a little gap going in the back of these that will allow you to make connection with the back of the spring with a meter probe for testing in situ. Um, and the interesting thing that is very interesting is that these are universal connectors in the sense that the, what is the plug is also the socket. So you can basically, the same connection, turn it round and it can plug into itself. And that's kind of a weakness in a way. Because the way these contacts work, there is a, a little sort of indent in the coppery, brassy type material. It's not magnetic. That is magnetic. Uh, this one is not magnetic, which is good. Uh, and I filed into it and it does look coppery all the way through. So I think these are a copper alloy-ish type connector. But the thing is, when you plug these together, as you mate them together, there's a bit of resistance. That is the point that where these two little... Uh, dimples meet on the connector because in one half it's one way round in the other half it's the other way round and as you push them together it just suddenly clicks past that but in doing so it's pushed past the strongest contact point that's ridden up onto a lesser contact point I'm not sure how good that's going to be some people did say they had problems with them making connection let's zoom out again and take a look at uh, other stuff let me see is there anything else worth mentioning here when you put the wire in, you have to strip it roughly 12 millimetres. There is a little mark here that says 12. It also says 32 amps at 250 volts. I would not even remotely trust this anywhere near that. It also says it's good for 4 millimetre. I think that would be a tight fit. And we got this thing now that with these spring-loaded terminals, 
Some people say you should leave the strands flat and not twist them uh, because you get a much better connection as it splays them out and pushes them onto that connection plate. I personally think a small twist is a good thing because when you do that, it keeps the strands together and you're less likely to get little careless whiskers sticking out the side of the George Michaels, as they say. Careless whiskers that can bridge onto adjacent connections. Um, it does grip it very tightly, though. Very tightly. Hmm. Right. Let's take a look at some other pitfalls. I shall put that out the way. And we shall look at the modular approach. So these things are made from a series of separate modules that clip together. And once you've clipped them together to the required number of connections, you then, the open side, you stick a little plate on like this and it uh, covers that up and that's your connector. If you were to use this in a machine for, say, a pump, let's zoom down a bit. And you had, a, say, a vending machine and it had a pump or something in it that was prone to blocking up and it would be really handy just to be able to unplug that and take the pump out and then after you finish cleaning it, plug it back in again. Well, there is a slight problem with these in uh, the hands of unskilled operatives or just complacency or connectors being out of reach. Because it is a modular system, you can actually plug them in out of sync. And if you did that with this exact connector as supplied... The incoming live would then go to the earth case of the pump and the case of the pump could come live with respect to the adjacent metalwork of the machine. And if, say for instance, you had it sitting out in the machine, you want to just give it a quick buzz and see if it spun, that pump, when you touched it to feel if it was running, could be live at mains voltage. So um, you have to keep in mind that these things can be paired incorrectly. The plus side of the modular approach, the universe approach, is you can make up custom arrangements. Say, for instance, this was a emergency light. You could have neutral earth, switched live, and a permanent live for the emergency light. So it does have that nice modular functionality. Now, the other things, and we're going to have to actually go to the picture again for this, is that in a traditional spring-loaded connector, like a proper Vago terminal, the... Metal connection here is usually tied onto the... Is there a way I can demonstrate this? I can get this clone. Actually, no, I can do better than this. Here's a sneak preview of an upcoming video that I've not made yet. This is a Vago connector. And uh, you can see this is the current carrying bus bar section here. These are the springs here, but they are captured in with these little tangs in here so that even if it's gone into full, like nuclear meltdown mode, the wire will still be retained in position. If this starts overheating, this spring is held in place with plastic and the heat will go up that and it will melt the plastic and then the wire will drop out, it will make a bad connection. Who knows what's going to happen? And likewise, because these little connections are literally just slid in from the outside, if these get too hot, it could deform the plastic and they could start spready apart. That's especially going to happen if there is arcing or a bad connection there. It's uh, it's weaknesses that are fascinating, but also just a bit scary at the same time. So it is, a, it is an interesting connector. I mean, I like the concept. I like the universal modular approach. I would say that these wouldn't are not something I would ever use in a commercial job. I wouldn't install them in someone's installation because there's always the risk that you're going to potentially have an instant with the connector and something's going to go on fire. And then because these are unregistered, uh, uncertified, that would be an issue. And also, if someone got electrocuted as a result of doing exactly what I said earlier of actually mislaying them, that could be something that could come back and haunt you, so to speak. Um, but it's a shame, because otherwise, you know, it came across as a nice modular concept. And I could see their use for your own personal projects at home, but probably not involving high current and maybe not necessarily even involving mains voltage. But for less critical applications, these could actually be quite an interesting connector. But there we go. Interesting, fascinating, very useful if they were predictable. But unfortunately, these type of connectors are not predictable. There's so many little doubts about the connector that you you couldn't really trust it. 
But interest nonetheless, I will provide a link to the one UK seller that uh, was selling these if you want to have a play yourself. I think they're almost out of stock of uh, the 10 packs, um, which is disturbing. Hopefully people aren't using them in critical applications. But um, perhaps you could just, if you want to play about them and see if they fit your application, I'll put the link in for that. But other than that, to be honest, I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. They're just not quite as safe as could be desired, but interesting nonetheless.